OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, is now being sued in a class action lawsuit for allegedly stealing tons of people's data and profiting from it. This court case has the potential to dethrone ChatGPT and possibly lead to its quick demise. In this video, we'll go over the facts and find out when ChatGPT will go out of business. So. What happened? OpenAI has found itself in some hot water. A law firm called Clarkson Law Firm from California has filed a class action lawsuit against them. What's the fuss all about, you ask? Well, the law firm alleges that OpenAI stole personal data from millions of internet users, including kids, without their consent or knowledge. Apparently, OpenAI scraped a whopping 300 billion words from the internet, including personal information from social media platforms like Twitter and Reddit. Crazy, right? But wait, it gets even juicier. The law firm claims that OpenAI did all this in secret without properly registering as a data broker as required by the law. What's more, after allegedly stealing all that data, OpenAI used it to train its language model, ChatGPT. That's right, they trained their models on your private information. But there is more. The lawsuit claims that OpenAI has profited from illegally obtained data, which makes the situation even more dangerous for the company. According to the lawsuit, the ChatGPT ChatGPT Plus subscription is how ChatGPT was making money through that stolen private information. Of course, there's a lot of debate about the data collection practices used by OpenAI. Some people argue that all the data obtained from social media cannot be considered private since it's publicly available. And according to the law, even though the personal information is public on social media and other platforms, using it outside the intended platform can be considered a privacy violation. The mere fact that such information was gathered poses a serious question about the true scope of OpenAI's data collection. What if the publicly available information is only the tip of the iceberg? What if the true size of the stolen or illegally acquired data is much bigger? This lawsuit is already over 150 pages long, which can hint at the potential magnitude of the lawsuit and repercussions for the company. And this lawsuit isn't just about privacy policies and existing users. No, no. It's about OpenAI profiting from data that was never meant to be shared with ChatGPT in the first place. They are being accused for violating privacy, negligence, and even larceny. Talk about shady business practices, right? Now, OpenAI isn't the only company using scraped data to train their AI models. Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and others are doing it too. But this lawsuit specifically targets OpenAI because they supposedly started the AI arms race with ChatGPT. They are the ones who ignited this whole thing, according to the lawsuit. The lawsuit has the potential to cause some serious damage to the platform platform many governments, the US included, have the instruments of putting pressure on OpenAI. In Italy, for example, ChatGPT has been banned for almost the entire April over privacy concerns, especially regarding minors. Could ChatGPT get banned in the US though? Here is where it gets tricky. See, in Europe, there are laws that distinguish between public domain and free to use data, but in the US, it's still up for debate. Privacy experts argue that people should have control over how their data is used, even if it's publicly available. However, However, it's uncertain whether the US legal system would agree. There are no exact laws that regulate the availability of data and what data counts as free to use, so we are in a bit of a gray area here. We could go as far as to say that the fate of ChatGPT and generative AIs in general is in the hands of the judge and juries. It's crazy to think what could happen if the court proclaims OpenAI guilty. So if ChatGPT is going away for good, you might want to use it while you can. For example, thousands of business owners, entrepreneurs are now extensively using ChatGPT to boost their profits and it's hard to blame them since ChatGPT is so amazing at its job. But to me, it was always strange how some people can ignore the ineffectiveness of their work. Ways. The majority of business owners who use ChatGPT don't actually know how to use it. They're just trying to guess what the prompt should look like and that's ineffective. To get the full advantage of ChatGPT, you need to precisely know what prompts to type. That's why we've put together a pack of prompts that you can use. This pack has tons of ready-made prompts that you can simply copy and paste. All of these prompts are not just time savers. Each one is designed to maximize the effectiveness, minimize the time you spend on work, and improve earnings of your business. Business. We believe this list will be a game changer for businesses, marketing specialists, or just anyone looking to level up their ChatGPT experience. With these prompts, 10-minute actions will take mere seconds and your workflow will be fast and straightforward like an arrow. And now we have a huge discount, 50% the original price. So be sure to check it out, the link is in the description.
Yet the goal and demands of this lawsuit shed some light on what could happen to ChatGPT and other AIs that have recently been popping out like mushrooms after the rain. This lawsuit wants to temporarily freeze the commercial use of OpenAI's products as well as a free billion dollar fine that should go directly to parties who signed this lawsuit. So suspension of activity and a huge fine. The future doesn't look so bright for ChatGPT, right? Well, don't think that this is the only lawsuit against AI companies and OpenAI in particular. There are more and I'm going to tell you about them later since the abundance of lawsuits paints a grim picture for AI in general. Now, I want to point out one thing. This lawsuit has already affected ChatGPT's functionality. A beta feature that allows us to search the web with Bing has now been disabled. If you think that it's going to stop there, don't be mistaken. This lawsuit is a big deal and the shockwaves of it will be heard everywhere. This could be an example for all AI companies that they should take privacy and data collection seriously and that people will not tolerate such things. Right now, ChatGPT has turned off only one feature, and as the court case moves forward, more and more features will be revised and possibly disabled. Are you getting this? You may lose the features you like and rely on. As I said, this is not the only lawsuit against AI and even not the only one against OpenAI. Just last November, OpenAI and Microsoft found themselves in the crosshairs of a class action lawsuit which claimed that they misused computer code from GitHub to train their AI tools. Then, in February, there was the case of Getty Images going head-to-head -head with Stability AI for allegedly using Getty's photos without permission to train their image-generating bot. And the hits just keep coming. OpenAI once again found themselves in a bit of a pickle when radio host from Georgia slapped them with a defamation lawsuit. This time, the radio host claimed that ChatGPT produced text that falsely accused him of fraud. Seems like OpenAI is everywhere, effing up on every level except tech. But what about those consequences? Can ChatGPT get disabled? While I'm not a fortune teller, I do have a few ideas how things might pan out. First off, it's unlikely that OpenAI would have to immediately disable ChatGPT just because of the lawsuit. Legal proceedings take time and during that period ChatGPT will continue to work. However, if OpenAI loses in court, it might have to pay hefty fines and compensation to the affected people whose data was allegedly misused. That could hurt OpenAI's finances and reputation, making investors and partners think twice before investing in the company. They might have to overhaul their data collection and privacy policies, which could slow down the development of future AI models. This means ChatGPT 5 might be either delayed or never happen at all. Especially if the fines will be huge, this could lead to the company being absorbed by a tech giant like Facebook or Google. But the impact of this lawsuit on ChatGPT isn't the worst part. The real scary part is the potential effect on the entire AI industry. Companies may become more hesitant to develop AI technologies, fearing they could also face similar lawsuits. Regulations might tighten and it could become harder for startups and smaller players to enter the AI market, which could lead to stagnation of the technology. But hey, let's not dwell in the doom and gloom for too long. There's always a glimmer of hope. If OpenAI comes dry out of all this, they will have to make serious adjustments to the way they collect and handle data. They will have to go through more challenges to add new data to the database, which can slow down the development. However, the prices are much bigger. A more transparent data collection and usage, which benefits everyone, and especially us, the users. So while the courtroom drama might be a bit scary, there's hope for a brighter, future ahead. Thank you very much for watching guys and see you in the next one.